So today, we are going to be working on the Jeep. And my passenger side of my Jeep has stopped changing from hot to cold because it has individual climate control. And my wife's been crying about it because it's winter time now. Couldn't tell because it's, you know, summertime and it got stuck on the cold. Here she is. Mm. Try again. Oh, damn door's open. I said sorry. Can't open can't turn your shit on without your shit being closed. So we got them both on high. Car is heated up somewhat. Ninety. Oh, 102. One of the problems that makes it hard to get to is they've put they've got a lid, so you can't see nothing up here. It's just held on by a few screws. But we'll get them out. So we got this. I don't know, cover off. Man, it is a dirty machine. It's never been off before, probably. It's only held on by two little plastic screws. You can hit them with a uh, Phillips or a Phillips socket head. It is a 932nd. All right, so this one's kind of a tough one. So you gotta take your glove box lid slash holder out. So the glove box is only held in. It isn't, it's just kind of like a little hinge system. So what you have to do is it's hitting, the stopper is stopping on these little nubs up top. So you'll pull those down and take this little, I don't even know what the hell that is. There's some little thing right here. Maybe it, I don't know what it does, but Anyways, it's hooked on the side right here in this little hole. You'll just push it forward and it pops right out. And this one here, just a hinge system. You'll push these down. It'll drop down a little bit lower and you'll just pull on it and it pops out. And then you'll have to, I mean, I undid it to get some more slack, but I don't think I'll have to take it completely out. But there's this little, I don't know, it's like a nine pin or 12 pin something. And then we can get up in here and figure out where so I believe I found it. There's two of them and they're damn identical. So here's the uh, actuator that I bought. Doorman actuator. And then behind this little white thing here that you just pop off, there's this one here. And there's another one that's on this right here, um, the blower motor. Um, I turned my car on and switched them around. I can hear this one here popping. So I imagine it's this one. But I'm going to pull it off and inspect it and go from there. All right. So we're back about five days later. So I broke into this thinking that my blend door actuator had went out. But it in fact was not the blend door actuator. It was this little bitty piece had broken in half. This here is the... I guess you, it's like a blend door actuator shaft. It goes in between the actuator and the little knob. I guess they want this to break instead of breaking off your blend door or breaking off your actuator in. So got a little drive shaft that goes in between them and it had just busted in half. So I went to the dealership and the dealership couldn't even order it. I even We even tried looking up uh, they, they found one, but it wasn't the same one. But we looked up Grand Cherokees, Commanders. Couldn't get the right one. I mean, I had the one that would look, this one, what it looked like. Anyways, the only place I could really find it is either Amazon or eBay. Ordered this one off eBay. It costs more than the damn blend door actuator. A new one. Not from Mopar, but just like one from O'Reilly's. The one from O'Reilly's was like 20 three dollars for blend door actuator a little piece of plastic thirty two dollars anyways I got it off eBay comes with some instructions how to break in there and change it 
which I already figured out because I had to break in and find out that's what was wrong. But, I mean, it's just a little, little, a little white little knob right there. And then it just screws up in there. And then this little, I don't know what this little white piece is. It just pops on this little bracket right here. We'll put her back together now. So as you can see, I put it on there. There's a little bitty hole on the side of it. This little hole right here, there's a little notch that comes through it from the blend door. It sets in there like that. <clears throat> and now there's just a keeper pin up here and you'll just put your screws back in for your actuator. So I got her all tied back in, just two bolts, caddy corner, ran my wire back the way it was. This thing here is just kind of clips on, it's got a little keeper hole. She's in there like that. So on your glove box, this little pigtail, little 16 pin or something, goes through this hole on top of your glove box. And then your clips are just, grab hold of these arms, you'll just click it on, put this in, <clears throat> put your, this little thing here in, and you'll slide it up in there. And you're almost done. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, 